Hi and welcome to this tutorial about how to make pivot tables. So to start with, um, I'm going to highlight this information but before then I'm just going to explain that these are the tasks you need to complete in the order. Okay, You need to complete them in this order. I'm just going to show you how to do a pivot table because we've never done that before but you have done everything else. So I'm going to highlight all of these, click insert and then pivot table, make sure the range is there and a new worksheet. Here we are. I'm going to select what I want. So I want name, author, category, and cost each. I want it to be filtered by the category. So I'm going to drag that into there. Actually, should I filter it by no? I'm going to filter actually. I'm going to put that in rows so I can see. And I'm going to put the name underneath category. So underneath each category, I can see what they've got. And then I've got the cost, the amount of the author, cost of the author, I don't really need that. The author might be in a column, or I might even just add that to the rows. Oh. See? And then you can actually have a look at it. And I might put the author above name, so you can actually do it like that. See? Isn't that pretty? Doesn't that look all organised? And that was literally just by me kind of dragging it around, which is the really good thing about pivot cables. You can create this really visually good looking piece of work. You might seem a bit of a Neil Gaiman fan. I am, and I am not afraid to admit that. So I'm now going to highlight this information and click insert. Now, if recommended charts doesn't come up with something, you can just add a chart. So I'm just going to click on there and do a column. Because what it's going to do for me from here is actually going to organize stuff for me here and here. So I can actually have a look at it and my, my chart will give a lot of information. There we are. So it's got what separated it into different categories with their names. Okay, off you go, enjoy. 